Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of our Supplier Showcase. Thanks all for tuning in again this evening. My name is Nicola and I'm one of the events team managers here at Heaton House Farm. We have got the very lovely Olivia on tech again this evening, so fingers crossed everything goes okay. This week I'm really excited because we're going to be chatting with one of my favourite suppliers again, um, Steve Bridgewood from Bridgewood Wedding Photography. So if you haven't yet booked your photographer for your special day, this is definitely the supplier showcase for you. I've got lots of questions for Steve as he's one of our recommended photographers here at Heaton House Farm and I can't wait to get started. But if you do think of any questions for him, please feel free to pop them in the comments box and we will be quizzing him at the end as well. So without further ado, we'll introduce Steve. Hey Echo, you all right? You okay? Hi Steve, how are you? I'm all good. You okay there? <laughs> yeah, all good here. Thank you. All so, good. Steve, let's get started. Um, so, for those people who haven't met you before, can you tell them a little bit about Bridgewood Wedding Photography and about yourself as well? Yeah, sure. Well, obviously, I'm a wedding photographer. Um, and Bridgewood Wedding Photography, it, it's just all about, you know, capturing weddings from the beginning to end in a colourful fun way and kind of photographing anything and everything really to do with the wedding obviously wedding photos but just just anything anything that i think is going to be of interest to to the couples really um yeah and it, it's just it's just like say from the beginning to the end full document of the day and just a you know a kind of different unique type of colorful way <laughs> Amazing. We can see some of the, the pictures of you at work there. Particularly love the selfie one there, Steve. Try my best, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so do, how did you get into wedding photography then? Well, I've, I've been around photography, you know, um, since I was a little kid, really. Me, my dad was a professional wedding photographer. He was Royal Dalton's photographer. So I've always kind of known of photography if that makes sense yeah um, you know kind of growing up, up up until the age where my dad gave me a camera like a film camera I used to just take pictures of anything really you know um, and then it, it just kind of progressed from there you know I've, I've always had a camera so to say um, you know from photographing bands uh, just out, out with my friends anything really um, and then you know, as, as life progressed, I was a forensic photographer for a bit and um, for the police. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. Very different <laughs> to what you do now, I imagine. Yeah, very different. And, <laughs> and just just people just, you know, they, they just say, we well, photograph a wedding for, for me, basically. And um, I didn't really have much of an idea how to photograph a wedding, but I, I knew, you know, what type of pictures I'd want and I'd, I'd want them to look like so to say so it's kind of like a, a mirror of what I would expect um, and it, it just went from there I just started doing you know 10 a year to 20 to 30 to the point where I couldn't I couldn't really do anymore I was saying no I can't do them because I was at work so it just kind of made sense to become a full-time wedding photographer and that's what I've been doing for quite a long time now. <laughs> Amazing I mean you're on our recommended list so you've definitely worked at the venue lots of times as well haven't you? Oh yeah yeah lots yeah. of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've seen on your I think on your Facebook you've recently won an award as well haven't you? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah yeah I mean obviously there's 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 lots of awards in this industry and there's a lot a lot of awards for photographers um, but th this this award is a little bit different. It, it's kind of more aimed at um, people planning the weddings, you know, looking for inspiration, stuff like that. Generally, just trying to find their way into finding suppliers, kind of stuff that they want. You know, I mean, we all know how it works, but um, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's just like a top top fifty wedding photographers things, but it, it, it's. It's kind of based on um, how you come across on social media, you know, your Facebook page, and also Google reviews and stuff. So, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it's it's actually the fifth year in a row I've got it. So wow, it's pretty, that's it's amazing! Cool. Considering yeah, how so, many photographers there are out there as well, that's a really big achievement. Well done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, I know quite a lot about your style, as both myself and Olivia have actually booked with Steve for our own weddings. 
Um, so we, we really love Steve, Steve's photos, of course. Um, but for anyone who maybe isn't familiar with your sort of style, how would you describe that, if, if you can describe it? Yeah, I mean, th there's obviously, you know, lots of words to describe what type of photography you do. I mean, it's probably a mix of all those things, like documentary, candid, natural, contemporary, whatever you want to call them. But it, it's kind of more... Um, it's kind of more of like a, a style where I kind of feed off the people, if I, if you get what I mean, the, the, the vibe of the wedding. Yeah, so it, 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 <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just looking, it, it's just about just, you know, flowing and, and, and fat feeling the vibe of the wedding. You know, obviously a lot of it is natural. Well, more or less all of it is natural, but like if I see something going on, you know, I'll just cheekily get in there. Like that guy with the horns, his wife was actually taking that picture. I just thought I'd sneak one in, like, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it, it's just, it's just, like I say, it's a document from the beginning of the day to the end. Anything and everything about the wedding. Obviously, wedding photography, but it's not all wedding photography. It's stuff that you, you wouldn't expect. I photograph things that you would expect. And just in, just in a colour way, just looking for different angles, you know, a, a different feel to the pictures, basically. So, yeah, yeah, yeah it works pretty well, hopefully. <laughs> I always, I love how colourful and sort of vibrant all of your pictures are as well. And you, yeah. you can always tell when it's a, it's a Bridgewood wedding photography photo because they, they just got this sort of slightly different look to them, which obviously, obviously we love, yeah. which is good. <laughs> I mean, like, like... That's it. Colour is a real big thing for me. I mean, you know, a, a lot of people, that's one of the first things they say. They don't, they don't, you know, they obviously like the pictures, but the first thing they say is like, we love how colourful everything is. Yeah. And I, I, I like a lot of colour. You know, you, you see it in the movies. I kind of take that from the palette you see in films, just that vivid, nice colour. So I, I try and, you know, bring, bring the photos to life in that way as well, you know, just add a bit of a feel to it with the colour. So definitely. Yeah. You definitely do. So cool. obviously there are lots of different photographers out there, um, which are all equally as brilliant. Um, but how would you sort of advise a couple to help pick their, their photographer for their day? Because it is obviously quite difficult to make that decision. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, th the main thing is, is you know, homework. Just just sit down as a couple, really, and, and just dissect the photographers that, that you're looking at, or even if you can't find them, really look. You know, I mean, Google's great, but I mean, if you know, if people get him out at Heaton House Farm, you've got examples of wedding photographers on there that they can pick from to to suit each individual's want of the vision of the photography, so to say. But but you know, I, I always I always think it, it's it's something that's going to be around forever. It's it's a life event. It's something that's going to be looked at by all sorts of different people throughout the years, and then. I just think, you know, I, I always compare it to, you know, like music, you know, you've never heard it, you hear it, so you think, I like that, you know, your best friend might not like it, but as long as you like it, you end up buying the album, you, you kind of look at it more, and I think that's that's the thing with wedding photography, you know, f find a short list and then just dive into the website, social media, stuff like that, and then you can you can see what that photographer's putting out there, so to say. But, yeah. um yeah, yeah, it, it is tricky, but you know, if 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 the work's there and they feel something from it, they they can see everything that what you do, and and I just take it from there. Really, I think that's the best thing. So, do your research and follow them on Facebook, Instagram, website, the lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Because I mean, you know, I'm I'm forever putting stuff on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. So it, it's also good to keep a tab on what photographers are doing yeah. that way as well. You know, for sure, definitely. Absolutely. Perfect. So yeah, as Steve was saying, we do have our supplier directory. So if you do want to contact Steve, all of his details will be on our supplier directory on our website. So Steve, how many weddings roughly do you do per year? Um, it ranges. I mean, obviously, you know, with what's going on at the minute, not many. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but normally it, it ranges between, you know, um, late 40s uh, 50 so it's it's getting to around 50 50 weddings a year so it keep, keeps me busy definitely yeah <laughs> definitely does with that many per year and obviously you've done quite a lot at Heaton House Farm because you've been on our supplier yeah. directory for quite some years now I think 
Yeah, a long time, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So if a couple decide that they're um, interested in booking you for their day, what's the booking process? How would you suggest that they get the ball rolling with that? I mean, um, obviously you can get in touch with me via social media, anything like that. You, you know, um, particularly your supplies list, they can they can find all that on there. Um, yeah. Websites, you know, but um, I, th- I think the main thing is is just, just get in touch. You know, I mean, like, you know, email's cool, but... I always like speaking to people, so you know my phone number's there. It's just good get a vibe from people, and I always think talking is kind of the best way with that, really. But you know, there's loads of ways of getting in touch. You've got like Instagram messenger, Facebook messengers, contact form on the website. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah, any any way like that, really. But I, I do like to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you can get your personality across more over the phone as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think you know that that is a big a big factor of, of booking your photography. You, know, you can you can love the pictures, but you also want to know who's behind that camera taking those pictures as well. And you know, I mean, a lot of the people I speak to, I, I probably talk about the wedding for about five ten minutes, <laughs> and then we talk about music, movies, dogs, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So, so yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. <laughs> And so, obviously, if the couple, they contact you, they sort of process the book in that way, do they get to meet you before the day? Or do you do FaceTime, anything like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we, we've got FaceTime, um, Google Hangouts, there's like Zoom, that's a new one, isn't it? All stuff like that. <laughs> We've um, all been using Zoom a lot recently. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. But, um, you know, I, I can, you know, I do meet people. Obviously, you know, I, I've... I shoot weddings nationwide, so it's not always practical um, go and meet somebody in Dorset or something. So that would be a whole time meeting. But particularly for you guys getting married at Heaton House Farm, I'm, I'm literally like five minutes away. So when they've come to do a viewing at Heaton House Farm, look around, you know, because I think they have a few of them, don't they, in the lead up to the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just just drop that in and I can meet them after or at or the venue, whatever, whatever, you know. So definitely you know I, I can meet people it's no problem with that at all amazing and then obviously if not like you say if you can't meet in person give you a phone call yeah. through zoom or facetime just to sort of get that relationship with you yeah definitely definitely yeah, yeah. amazing so is there a set package that you offer for the day how, how does it work in terms of what you offer can the couples pick and choose how long you're there for how does that work right well I, I don't kind of do packages if you get what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean the, the the type of style I like to I, I really like to be there from the beginning of the day, right through to till the end. So you, you know you kind of you're building a full document of the day, um, because you know all the day is interesting. Even you know the very start of the day, people getting ready. You know mm-hmm. guys not being able to do the ties up stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um. So, so basically, it's one it's one set thing that I advertise on the website, but it's not set in stone. And if, if people, you know, I, I'm I'm not, you know, I, I know that people want different types of coverage. So that will come just come down to like a bespoke quote, basically. Which again, you know, you, people just let you know on the email or however they contact you, and then you you just work it out from there, really. So. Amazing, but it sounds like it's pretty much quite easy. Just go on your website and all the initial information's there, is it? Yeah, yeah, everything's yeah. on the website. The, I've got like um, a frequent last questions thing on my website that, you know, does cover that, you know, what happens if I want um, a low amount of coverage. So with without actually having to contact me yet, you can see all that on there as well. But, but yeah, definitely, you know, anything like that's fine. But it's it's normally full day coverage but yeah i can't do less if you wanted to it's no problem amazing so you keep it nice and simple for everyone which is yeah. good there's a lot think, of a lot of stuff a lot of info out there so keep it nice and simple it makes it easier for us brides yeah <laughs> I, yeah i think i think that's the thing I, I just didn't want people to be bombarded with like you know three or four different tiers of packages i just think yeah. you know I, I want I want to be there end of the day, and if then people want me photograph the wedding, I know that I'm I'm right for them. Yeah. So it's just basically it's just a it's just a set thing, and then it, there's the option obviously to alter that if you wanted to. So amazing. So. 
<laughs> okay so obviously with everything that's happened this year 2021 is going to be very very busy for um all suppliers in the wedding industry so how far in, ad in advance would you suggest that couples um look to book with you i think i think with you know anything like that i think i think once you've kind of made your mind or or um or even if even if you're thinking you're planning you know say say you're planning a wedding you know 12 18 20 months in advance and you know you, you just want to get a feel for stuff just just contact you know it, it doesn't necessarily mean you've got to be booking if, if you just want to sell somebody out you know and, and yeah. just speak to them but I, I i normally take you know um i mean i'm, I'm booking stuff like 2022 now and um, like 2021 is just solid but it, it's yeah. i'm taking stuff right up to the end of 2022 so it, it's around 12 to 18 months really but i, I think with anything you just you know it's particularly like eating house farm you can't hang about if, if you want to get married <laughs> and you know you, you can't think oh i'll do it next week you, your date could be gone you know you've got to yeah. you've got to get in touch and just get get things locked down that, that you want basically absolutely we always say it's never too soon to start with your plans so yeah, if, if you like the style if you like steve's style get get in contact with him he'll, he'll get back to you very quickly <laughs> so um if anyone does have any questions for steve don't forget to pop them in the comments box and we will be going through them at the end um but until then i've got a few more for you steve if that's okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we'll quiz you some more. Um, so when would couples expect to receive their final photos then? Um, and sort of what form do you provide them in? Cool. Okay. So so after the wedding, um, obviously is the editing process. Um, you know, I'm quite particular on the editing, uh, as you can probably tell, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's 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 around, you know four to eight weeks basically for, for delivery and then um, it, it's it's a real it's a real nice way how you get the pictures you, you get um you get basically all your pictures on an online gallery which is password protected it's um it works on you know um smartphones computers basically anything that can go online and then um, all your pictures are there they're there forever it, they're all the full resolution photos perfectly edited and that and you, you can download from from there directly to your device or laptop um, you can put them on your tv if you've got a smart tv <laughs> so yeah it, it's pretty cool and it never goes away it stays there forever i, I just thought it was a i, I just kind of like the idea of you know you, you've always got your wedding pictures with you i mean you know years ago when i did weddings with, with my dad and stuff and it was on film it, it's kind of you had your wedding pictures yeah and they just like in this enormous boot <laughs> print and it, it was just like it's kind of a hassle just to get them so to say yeah. and I, I even think that you know I, even with usb it's just it's just something that's got to go in something you've got to load them up type of thing you know I, I just like the fact that they're always with you on the phone so if you went to the pub with your friends if there was someone that couldn't you know make the wedding you can show it to them or you can give them the password they can download pictures so it, it's just a really simple and nice technique because we we all have got smartphones and we all yeah. know how to use the internet. Now. <laughs> Even my mum knows how to use the internet. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it, it's basically um, password protected gallery, um, there forever, ne never goes away. You can download from it forever, and it's just a really, really straightforward, simple system to use. So Sounds just, really good. So yeah. can couples make prints from those um, that you sent us if they want to put them up in the house or if they do want to make that photo album, photo book, um, can they yeah. do that with your the gallery that you send? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you can you can print, you know, I, I don't do any of that um, copyright withheld and stuff like that. They, they're your photos, you know, people can do what they want. They can have them printed wherever they want. Obviously, you know, the the more premium printer that you have print them really shows quality of the photo yeah. and, and your wedding. You know, the, the, there is a shop on um, the actual gallery that you can use from me and you, you can order directly, it just comes to your door. But there's there's absolutely nothing stop you that if you were just out, you know, shopping at the traffic centre or something. <laughs> I'm gonna get that that photo printed that I keep meaning to do. You know, and of course you've got your phone with you, you can just go and get it done. Yeah, so, amazing, so easy. Yeah, so, really. 
so when you're in the pub with your mates and you want to show off your your cool suit or your nice dress you can uh, just get them up on your phone <laughs> That's it, definitely. <laughs> amazing. So we've probably seen some of Steve's photos going around as well. They are they are amazing. They look beautiful. <laughs> so, Steve, on the day, do you work? Are you happy to work alongside other suppliers such as videographers? Oh yeah, yeah, of course, definitely. I mean, you know, I, I'm I, I can talk to anybody really. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm 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 happy to work for anybody. I've, I'm not like a diva or anything. I, <laughs> I, I just, I just want, I'm there for a, you know, just have a good time and and just soak up. So work, working with videographers, absolutely no problem. And I do like working with photograph videographers, so definitely. Amazing, definitely. that's so good. Okay, so obviously you're you're one of our recommended photographers, so you've been to the venue loads and loads of times. So where would you say your favourite part of the venue is um, to get that shot of the couple? Um, I mean, obviously Heaton House Farm's got you know lots and lots of scope for, for photos key places um you know like the, the water gardens um you've obviously got the tree of course you famous know. tree yeah yeah definitely With, which is a fantastic photo you know you can get a beautiful photo there if you type well you get you know if you time it right the sun there we go. good time but, in olivia <laughs> yeah but I, I just i don't know I, you know, one of my favourite places is just um, around the back near the car park. There's like a beautiful um, metal cladded wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That sounds lovely. I just, I just like that, you know. And then, um, you know, I, I obviously do a lot at um, Heaton House Farm with um, Stefan from Heaton, um, from YSD Media. So, you know, we, we've done some cool stuff around there, you know, where the car park is and stuff. And, and also the, um, the lane that runs yeah. you know that's really nice because you get that arc of oh trees. that's one of my favorite shots when the couple are out in the road i love that yeah there's, there's just like it's just thinking outside the box it's, it's like you know you've got the fast tune lights on the front as well as yeah. the back. you know so there's there's two options there for, for nighttime photography you can really use use the front you can really use the back there's, there's, there's just like so it's just one of those venues where there's there's not a limited amount of photos if that makes sense yeah but i mean for me i always i always try and make them kind of unique to the couple so i'm not kind of um emulating shots for, you know every couple yeah. i shoot I try and do their own version of you know the the key places around teen house farm yeah so. Yeah. And Mick, the owner of the venue, is always thinking of new new pho photography areas. So you never know. The next time you're back, we might have somewhere new for photos. But he's, he's always up to something. <laughs> <laughs> so um, obviously we talked about your favourite areas to, photo, uh, to photograph. So what is your favourite part of the day to capture? Do you have one? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, all, all the day is fab. You know, all, all the day is brilliant. But I, th I think for me... The um, my personal favourite part of the day is is just straight after the ceremony when um, you know, everyone's had to keep quiet, listen to the ceremony and the vows and stuff, and you know the the marriage has happened. Everybody comes out and then just everybody's up here. You know, everyone's just so happy because you know the people at that wedding are guests. They've been invited for a reason. You know, and. Everyone's just happy, smiling. Some people crying, you know, in a good way. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, an, you know, an hour, hour and a half where, you know, no matter where you put point the camera, there's just people being the best version of them they can possibly be due to it just being a great day, you know. And yeah. it, it just, it's what it's, it's one of the moments where the photography is, it, it's just everywhere. You know, you, you can't be fast enough to get it. Like, you know, there's just pictures everywhere. I just mean like them two, they're, they're just talking. I love that one. Yeah, it's so like sort of natural. Yeah, and it, it's just showing, it's just showing just some banter of the day. People just having to talk, yeah. you know, but that's the part of the day I love. I mean, it's all a great day, but for me, that, that sort of, right, you know, we're married, let's have a drink. It's just the great. celebration, isn't it? Kickstarts the the celebrations, then, doesn't it? As soon as everyone, as soon as they're married, get a glass of prosecco. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. You know, and canapes. That's yeah. brilliant. Absolutely <laughs> lovely canapes, of course. Yeah. Favorite part yeah. of the day too. <laughs> yeah, I do love that. 
day. It, it's just great, you know. It, I mean, people are happy all day. I don't mean it like that, but that is just yeah. a moment where it, it, it it's it's electric. You know, it, it's just brilliant. It's just photos, photos, photos. It's great. It's really good. I enjoy definitely. That we we definitely agree with you on that one. Um, so we are actually almost done on the questions. So if anyone does have any questions for Steve, pop them in. Um, but Steve, you've been on our list for a long time. Do you know roughly how many weddings you've shot here at Heat House Farm? Yeah, well, it's probably <laughs> in the late, <laughs> probably in the late thirties, something like that. But I mean, the, the main thing is, it's it's always it's always a great day. That that's the main thing, you know. And there's there's always there's always something different. It, it it's never it it never feels the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's great, but yeah, I've, I've done quite a few there. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely knows all the best places to get those photos. That's and we it. love working with you too, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where would couples find um, some more sort of inspiration for your work? Where would be the best place for them to, if they are interested, to go and sort of find out more about what you can offer, what you can do? Okay, well, I mean, obviously the... The website is a shop window. Everything you could possibly want to know about the business is on there. Um, there's there's got to be over 100 weddings you can see on there through the wedding example page and the blogs over all the years. And they are like um, brief accounts from the start of the day to the end. Um, there's, you know, um, frequently asked questions on there and a little bit about me. Um, and obviously you've got Instagram and um, Facebook. And you know Instagram and Facebook, you can you can update them really fast, you know. Um, but the, they're they're the main places really, and obviously your suppliers list. I mean, people yep. watching this through your Facebook page, so you know they can gain access to everything they need to know about me through your suppliers list as well. Amazing. So I think that's all the questions, Steve. We made it through. Yeah, we, did <laughs> <a lot of> it. <laughs> we will just see if we've got any questions. Um, on the chat that Olivia is going to show up for us in a second. I think we might have one. So from Anthony Hine. Hi, Steve. Do you have a technique to ensure a flattering shot if a member of the bridal party, say the mother of the bride, for example, has a prominent nose? I <laughs> so, do. Steve, what would you do for that? <laughs> I have a technique, but if I give it away now, everybody will know that technique. So <laughs> I won't divulge that information. I'm sorry. All I can guarantee is you look fantastic. Oh, you can let them know on the day. Yeah. <laughs> have we got, I think we might have one more. Oh, Charlotte Davenport. Hi, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. Um, on, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> she said she can't recommend Steve enough. And I think, uh, clap hands, uh, I can't oh. see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I think that's it for our questions this evening, Steve. Um, yeah, answered everyone's questions they wanted to ask. I know, <laughs> and we haven't got any, but that's it, I think. We survived. Um, job. <laughs> yes, it does, it does. Well done. Um, so thank you, everyone, for joining us, and obviously a huge thank you to Steve for joining us this evening as well. It has been a pleasure speaking with you. you um, thank you. Next week we have got um, Liz Hendry, and Mark Hendry from the Live Piano Experience joining us at seven o'clock. So make sure you all tune in next week as well. And if you are interested in booking Steve, please do head to his website, message him on Facebook, give him a call, and um, he'll sort you out. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much, Steve. Thank you, guys. Thank you.